The Netherlands is becoming more and more sustainable, but the rise of wind and solar power may lead to an energy system that becomes less stable, with higher operating costs due to fluctuations in supply and higher peaks in the electricity grid. These problems can be solved by households when they are flexible in their electricity use. This so-called flexibility can ease the energy system if an aggregator collects the flexibility at multiple households. And there is a market for it. The aggregator offers the flexibility as a service on a separate flexibility market to a balanced responsible party to balance supply and demand of energy or to a distribution system operator to reduce peaks in the grid. This market, on which flexibility is traded, is described by the Universal Smart Energy Framework. We have tested the USEV flexibility market for the first time. To this end, 200 smart devices have been installed at participating households. The smart devices are automatically managed by a smart IT system. The main result of the project is that the USEV flexibility market works well in practice. The market helps to solve future problems in the energy system and it creates value to all parties involved. Let's start with the prosumer. If an aggregator wants to collect flexibility to trade it on a flexibility market, he needs an inspiring proposition. When such a proposition is designed, we have found that four points are essential. Firstly, the aggregator must have a compelling story. Secondly, convenience is important. Thirdly, prosumers are usually keen on financial security when it comes to energy. Finally, reliability of the organization that offers the proposition is important. Now, let's move on to the BRP. We have found when flexibility is applied, the value of the BRP portfolio can be increased. However, the portfolio is also exposed to more risks. We see that the spread of the portfolio is enlarged when flexibility is applied. This is because the aggregator activated less flexibility than what was agreed with the BRP, which may result in imbalanced costs for the BRP. The DSO would like peaks in the electricity grid to be reduced. An electricity peak can be characterized by its length or by its height. The project has shown that flexibility can reduce both the length and the height of the peaks. As a result, we have shown that serious peaks can be prevented with the use of a flexibility market. The aggregator plays a crucial role in the flexibility market. As an intermediary, he brings together the supply and demand of flexibility. In the project, the aggregator has successfully sold a fair amount of flexibility. When controlling the smart devices, the aggregator makes sure that the flexibility is also activated. However, not all flexibility that was sold was actually delivered, which may cause problems for the DSO or the BRP. Therefore, it is very important that the aggregator does everything in its power to deliver all the flexibility. Finally, we want to share our findings of the practical application of the USEF flexibility market. One of the main principles of the USEF flexibility market is that the interests of both the DSO and the BRP are taken into account. In many instances, the BRP and the DSO have no impact on each other. Sometimes, the BRP and the DSO help each other. However, the interests of BRP and DSO may also be conflicting. At these moments, a market model such as USEF helps to solve these conflicting interests. As we have seen, the USEF flexibility market works well in practice. The market helps to solve future problems in the energy system and creates value to all parties involved. Now, let's wait no longer. Together, we can launch this market for flexibility for real.